Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes, that is the type of chocolates and also to accept the integer x, that is number of friends as the input then the program must print yes if the chocolates can be distributed equally among x friends and also no one gets the same type of chocolate. We have also given a note that the string yes is case insensitive. That is, first we have to accept the string yes, which represents the types of chocolates. Then we have to accept the integer x, that is the number of friends. We have to print yes if the chocolates can be distributed equally among x friends and also no one gets same type of chocolates. And the note is string yes is case insensitive. So a and a is same. So now we'll take our first test case. So here we have three friends, one, two, three. Now we'll equally distribute them. So first we'll have A, then we'll have this A, then we'll have C, then from first we'll have D and a D and B. So now we can see that they are equally distributed among X friends and no one gets the same type of chocolate. So we must print yes. And we'll take our second test case. So here the chocolates can be equally distributed but someone will get the same type of chocolates repeatedly. So we must print no as the output. So the key logic of this program is if the count of any chocolate, sorry, any character in yes is greater than x means we have to print no else will print yes so if you see in this second test case g is occurring for five times but our number of friends is four so in some way a friend will get an extra g that is an extra type uh, that is the same type of chocolate repeatedly. So here we will print no as the output. So if there is no character greater than yes means we'll print yes as the output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the string yes as the input. So we'll convert it to lower case as it is case insensitive. Then we'll get the number of friends 
and then we'll iterate over the yes for ch in yes if the s dot count of ch is greater than x means we have to print no and break the loop else we must print yes so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case here we have got yes as the output which is correct next we'll execute our second test case so here we have got no as the output which is also correct as you can see a uh, friend will get same type of chocolate for one more time as we have 5g's so we'll have no as the output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video